What's up, guys? Jazz Raganzo, another What's Next. CPAC uh, took place over the weekend under very little media press coverage outside of Fox News and online, which is pretty much the gist now, if anything, regarding conservatism. Um, it was action-packed. Uh, there were a lot of names. Glenn Beck was one of them um, who spoke. Um, but the two keynotes. Oh, did I mention Mike Pence? Um, the two keynotes. One, the 45th president of the United States. And two, the governor, the boss man of Florida, Ron DeSantis. Let's take a look. This comes out of Breitbart. Donald Trump and Ron DeSantis lead CPAC straw poll. Shocking. No one is surprised there. Um, as you can see, the two gentlemen there. Former President Donald Trump and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis lead the Conservative Pol Political Action Conference CPAC straw poll, which was announced Friday on the final day of the annual conference. Pollsters at CPAC asked conference attendees two questions. Who would they support in a 24 bid if Trump runs? And who is your top choice? If he does not, the poll found 70% of the voters would back Trump in 24 if he runs. Second place was DeSantis with 21%. When asked who they would support in 24 if Trump does not run, 68% chose DeSantis, followed by Mike Pompeo at five, and Donald Trump Jr. at four. Wow. Oh, not even a uh, Senator Ted Cruz in that, com in that uh, comment. Both Trump and DeSantis gained support compared to the last CPAC poll, which occurred in late February in Orlando, Florida. Previous draw polls results, Trump 55, DeSantis 21. Trump excluded as potential candidate DeSantis 43. Overall, Trump received 98% approval rating, 88% strongly approved, and 10% somewhat approved. Uh, Joe Dementia received a 97% disapproval rating, which is pretty much uh, across the board from all media. Even liberal media has got to be looking at uh, dementia is a clown. Of the issues facing the nation, CPAC attendees were most concerned about voter ID, election integrity, constitutional rights, immigration slash border wall. And of course, a straw poll was conducted July 9th to the 11th in person at CPAC. My thoughts. No surprise here. Uh, no surprise that Trump would take uh, first in the poll and DeSantis number two. Um, my opinion, whether uh, Trump is going to run in 24, I hope he does not. I hope he does not. Um, I think because of everything generated. Um, you know, there are going to be those who are in favor of Trump's policies, his ideas, but not the man himself. Me, Governor Ron DeSantis uh, is a beast. He's boss level. Uh, how many things that he has done over this six months alone makes you go, damn, this guy's fearless. Uh, one thing comes to mind is that when he passed the um, sports by birth, uh, his version regarding protecting women or children, from transgenderism on June 1 of supposed Pride Month. That was awesome. But uh, we got a couple things. Uh, I'm sorry, we got a few years to look at this situation to see where this is going to go because a year from now, things could change. Trump can make a decision, hey, you know what? I'm not going to run. Um, this is DeSantis's, uh game now, passing the torch, what have you. But DeSantis, on the other hand, has a 22 election coming up as well to uh, become governor once again for the state of Florida. So a lot of things could change in a year's time. Um, but uh, we're going to see where this goes. In my opinion, like I said, I, I, I love DeSantis. I love what he does. I love what he's doing. He's doing everything. I won't say everything. But he's doing a lot of things that Trump did, but without the tweets. Something to think about. And with that being said, I'm Jasper Gonzo. This is What's Next. 
want to see more just like this, please leave a comment below. Like it, share it, subscribe to it. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss a thing. And we'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.